Specialist located in Fairfax, Virginia, in the United States. This is a vitrectomy to remove floaters, otherwise known as an FOV. This patient is 50 to 60 years old, has a known PVD or posterior vitreous detachment, as you can see here. And he has very large copious floaters or opacities in his vitreous. As I move around the eye, you can see this large vitreous opacity or floater to the left. And the wispy or fluffy cotton candy-like material is the rest of the vitreous. Now, while I can't see most of the floaters that patients complain about, in this case, it was quite easy to see that very large, dense floater, which was just removed. The idea of surgery is to go around and remove most of the core or central vitreous. The operation is easiest in patients who have had a PVD or after I create one. This is a case where I did not need to induce a, a PVD as one had naturally occurred. And this is common in the uh, older age group compared to the younger age group where I can't see any vitreous opacities. There's lots of tiny floaters and there's no PVD. If you look carefully at his natural lens, uh, there's also the beginnings of a cataract, and those are some of the striations you see um, that seem to be kind of in the way. Right there's a good example from around 4 to 6 o'clock. I'm using the light to go around the eye to get the light to reflect off my instrument so I can see the vitreous better. Here I've removed most of the vitreous, and now I'm checking the peripheral retina to make sure that I did not cause any holes tears in the retina, a possible complication of vitrectomy. Retinal holes or retinal tears can cause a retinal detachment, and obviously we want to try and avoid those. As always, thank you so much to my incredible staff. They are absolutely world class, and I couldn't do anything without them. See you next time.